What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Trucker Mike. Today I'm going to do a little short video on the uh, Thermo King Evolution Tri-Pack APU. Um, if your APU is freezing up on you, meaning the condenser, either the condenser or the evaporator that's in the black box that you can open up and see where the two the blow motors are at that blow air into the into your sleeper. If that thing freezes up and it'll freeze up with ice, um, one of two things can be happening that I know of from my personal experience. Either the freeze stat, which is a sensor, which is a probe that sticks into your condenser or evaporator. I, I can't remember the name of it. That sensor, that probe, keeps that from freezing up. It'll sense the temperature and it'll shut off. Um, can't even think of the name. Uh, it'll, it'll shut it off so to cycle. So uh, the compressor, it'll shut off the compressor so it doesn't keep trying to make, keep it cold. And that's how it freezes up. That compressor will stay on and go and go and go and it'll freeze up if that probe or that sensor is bad, okay? This is the sensor that you need to get. That's the part number, okay? I got this for $114 at the, um, at the prime Pittston terminal. I decided to fix it myself. I was gonna wait six hours to get into the shop for them to fix it. It's very easy to fix. I paid for it myself. I fixed it myself. Sometimes you just got to do it, you know. Yes, it's under warranty. Wouldn't have cost me a thing. But it cost me time, and time is money out here. And I keep telling you guys this. If it's an easy job, just buy the part yourself, fix it yourself, and go about your, your business. Go on your way. To me, it's worth doing it. So let me show you what I did. Now I've already changed it, but I got the uh, the old one in here. Let me show you. Now this is this is the freestat. This is the sensor. It's got a connection on one end. This probe goes in the other end. That's it. It's that simple. So let me show you. What you do is you take the clip. Take these clips off, just this side. You don't have to do the other side, okay? And lift it up, okay? This is the thing that I say it's gonna freeze up. It'll start actually freezing up with ice on the bottom and it'll work its way up. When it does that, it's not gonna blow, it's not gonna blow uh, a lot of air out your vents. Why? Because this is blocking air from coming in through here going through uh, your blow motors, okay? It's very simple to install, okay? Here's the sensor right here. You connect it into right here, and then you put it, you see right here where my fingers are at, right there? The end of this, you put the probe back into the hole and you push it all the way in. That's it. That's how you install that. And my reefer, uh, reefer, duh. My APU's been running good ever since. It was freezing up on me. Um, another way, another reason that it'll freeze up on you if it's low on Freon, okay? So, but I've had APU's now for a while and I diagnosed it myself and decided it was my free stat and I was right and now it works great. But that's all you have to do. Unplug it from here, pull that out, and then you get the new one in, you push it in the same hole you poured it out, and then you connect it right here. And that's all you got to do. And then button it up, up together. Also, another tip for you guys, 
change this filter up often because it'll get clogged up and everything and your AC won't work as good. And also make sure you don't um, clog these vents as well. Um, but yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's it. That's, um, that's how I repaired my own uh, APU. Uh, it's a tri-pack, it's an Evolution, Thermal King, you know. Um, before this truck, I used to have a Rigmaster. I love that Rigmaster. Um, it was easy to work on. It's just the way it was designed. You take that whole front cover off and boom, everything's exposed. I mean, sometimes I had to take the, cover, the left side cover off um, to get to the alternator. I'll change that, but on this uh, Thermal King is Thermal King APU. I, I haven't done any any hard repairs like changing out the starter or, uh, or the alternator. I it, I'll take it to the Thermal King, have them do that because um, I don't own this truck. I don't own the APU. My other truck I owned. It was all mine. It was paid in full. I had the title. I did my own repairs but <clears throat> in this particular situation I didn't want to wait to get into the shop because I needed some sleep so I decided to go into the Pittston parts room buy the Freestat $114 it took me five minutes to install it and I was good to go and then I went to bed and my APU the AC is freezing me out it's freezing in here even at warm very hot temperatures so but sometimes you just have to do things yourself man if you want to depending on the situation you know um, I knew I wasn't it wasn't gonna get cold in here because like I said it'll still blow out cold air even when it's freezing but it, the 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 flow, the amount of flow of the air that's coming through your vents is reduced a lot because that radiator, evaporator, or condenser is freezing up with ice, solid ice, and it'll work its way up. And when it does that, it's blocking the air from coming from the outside in. It's reduced. And that's how you know you're freezing up. And that, you can go checking on it, looking at it, to see that it is freezing up. Um very easy repair very very easy anybody can do it it's simple unplug the old one take the probe pull the probe out take the new one put the probe put the probe back in the same hole that it that you pulled the old one out it'll when you put it in there it'll just go right on in just push it in it'll feed itself and then you connect the other end to the connector and that's it you're done very simple anyway if this is very help for you, helpful for you, like this and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Leave a comment down below what you think and if, if situations like this have helped you. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.